Yesterday, we heard from proponents of fracking, a process that would be used to extract natural gas from deep within the Marcellus Shale Formation. The formation follows the Appalachian Mountains, which pass through western Maryland. As the state considers whether to allow companies to begin drilling on leased land, opponents are hoping to either slow down the process or grind it to a halt. in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and I know from personal experience what it's like to have your livelihood undermined, literally. Um, and the coal industry is just like any other industry. The gas industry is an industry that wants to make money, and we have to be very careful because once you make these kind of mistakes, they're almost impossible to fix. On their bus tour to Western Maryland, lawmakers voice concerns about what environmental degradation caused by fracking could do to the region. As I look at it, and I think if you get the picture in the background, you'll find that this is just beautiful country. And once they start digging and putting in new roads, and once they start really getting into the soil and the fracking process, is so um, harsh on the land that it just ruins the whole beauty of the area. But getting opponents who would be directly affected by fracking to speak to the media is no easy task. Many say they fear retribution because of the intense pressure to lease their land. So CTV made a special trip back to Garrett County in November in search of opponents. Well, when you consider that the primary economic draw for Garrett County is tourism, and people come here to get away from uh, development and those types of things. They come here for the natural beauty that the place offers. So yeah, I have some economic concerns. I think it's going to harm the tourism business a lot. Plus what it does to land values. Uh, right now, if you have a lease on your property or if property adjoining yours has a lease, you can't get a federally insured mortgage loan. This dog sledding business has been thriving at Deep Creek Lake for the last eight years. But the owners are concerned that fracking may destroy the natural beauty of the region, the trails that the Huskies use, as well as the health of the dogs. Our community in Garrett County is unique to all other counties because we don't have comprehensive zoning. So our county does not have the authority to regulate the industry within our county. So we rely solely on the state to give our commissioners permission to regulate this activity. So that poses a significant, I think, threat to the citizens of our community. And perhaps nothing is as valuable a resource as H2O. Recent documentaries have highlighted problems fracking causes communities when methane gas leaks into drinking water. Delegate Marvin Holmes, who is also an engineer, says it's critical that companies use quality materials for fracking. If we are very specific in the types of drill, I mean the wellheads that we use, we can prevent that gas migration. And that's what's happening, is that the, the drill heads are, don't utilize a specific type of concrete, uh, uh, and the concrete is sometimes too porous, and the gas from the uh, the hydraulic fracturing my, uh, mitigates up through the, the uh, drill heads and goes right into the water table. Another major issue is the source of fracking water and where to put it after it's used. Experts say there is a long list of toxic chemicals used with little to no regulation thanks to what's known as the Halliburton loophole. The gas industry is exempt from the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, and if there are no concerns with threats to contamination to our air and water, then the driller shouldn't need these exemptions. And tomorrow we conclude our four-part series with an analytical look at fracking and what it could mean for Maryland.